a nature is declaring truth now. Everything is declaring the truth. I think all of you know that a baby is being born. I believe the baby has already been born. On the 15th of December, which was the fifth day of Hanukkah, lights. I believe what's happening to you is lights. And this baby that's being born, I believe is one out of a hundred, Zion. All of his springs, all of his power, all of his strength is in Zion. Zion brought forth before she travailed. I don't think y'all have travailed and you're bringing forth tonight. Uh, in 88, there was a prophecy come that I believe was hip form morning star. It was about a white buck deer up in Moravian Falls. Uh, there was one that was seen up there. I haven't seen it. But it was seen that year. This year, 2010, the white deer was seen again. I've never seen one in nature, but nature's declaring yes. Zion is coming forth. Yes. Zion, all of his springs, all of his gifts, all of the arts, all the songs, everything is in Zion. Yeah. If I remember right, it's the uh, 84th, uh, 85th, 6th or 7th Psalm in there. Uh, many, there are many Christians. Some say they're from Egypt. Uh, others say they're from Babylon. But those who say they're from Zion... The Lord himself registers your name in heaven. You're known in heaven. So what I believe, Larry is leading you up to where you come forth as Zion. That each one of you gets your own personal gift, also your own personal power. Yeah. Now, Brad and them, this year up at Moravian Falls, they took a picture of a white buck. That's where I saw him years ago. And uh, they took more than one. And Larry was talking about literally a change. Well, Brad is sharing with me that they got another picture of the white book. He's lost his horns, which is his power. He's getting ready to bring a brand new set of horns, which would be greater power than, than he's ever had before. By the way, I'm going to get to see it sooner or later. I know the Lord's going to let me see that. But nature's declaring it. What's being birthed here is Zion. Zion. Yes. What's being blessed here is Zion. And I believe this is what Larry's trying to explain to you. Yeah. For it's all in Zion. All the blessings. You become the blessing. You have that ability to bless. You have that ability uh, to go into situations, economy, yes. uh, art, yes. uh, music. Zion is when your mind gets wired straight. Because it gets wired up with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I believe what the Holy Spirit's doing to you tonight is saying, let me wire you with a heavenly wire. Or he can release his power. He won't release it except in Zion. That he can release power that can change uh, the entire world, the economy, everything else. There is no answer short now of Zion. One righteous person. The Lord would pardon Jerusalem. One person in Zion, one out of a hundred, has that authority to wake up the entire world with whatever is imparted to you. I, uh, all the impartation that's going on here is to simply get you to come forth 
in what you're called to be. For see, that stag upon the mountains, if you study it in the Song of Solomon, it's the Lord. I believe the Lord is coming to you and offering you new horns, which represents power. A new release. I believe Larry's showing you what it is. I take this one out of a, a hundred out of Nehemiah 11th chapter. He said they brought one out of 10 to live in Jerusalem and out of all Israel. Okay, so Jerusalem, one out of 10, all of them. I believe in the, in the church that there's one out of 10 that's really dedicated to God. And the Lord said, those that willingly live in Jerusalem, I'll bless. But then there's Zion, which is one-tenth of Jerusalem, or one out of a hundred. I believe the Lord has brought you together here in a conference and give you a hunger to be that one out of a, a hundred that can go back and impact the nations. That one out of a hundred, your music can bless everybody. It, not only the churches, but I mean the entire world. The world is looking for an answer. And those that reach a level of maturity where you're warred properly, it's going to be out there that you touch people. I believe one of the strongest attributes of the people of Zion is love. They'll be able to love people unconditionally to where that people aren't intimidated by them but get a desire, I've got to move on up. I'm tired of living in Israel. I want to live in Jerusalem. Then I'm going to grow up and be part of Zion. So on the 15th of December, a major thing's happened. I saw the birthing of a baby. Satan hated that baby with everything that he had. He had tried to kill that baby and stop that baby from ever coming forth. But the, the baby was born and he was waiting to destroy it. And a female lion come and looked him in the eyes. And she just shook her head, no. The female lion is what takes the prey. I believe the spirit of that female lion is what's fallen on you here. And that's the intercessors, but I believe it's also churches that are going to come together and say, no, you don't take this. This has been birth. I believe this is a millennial baby that uh, uh, having tasted the good word of God in uh, Hebrews uh, 6, 5, having tasted the good word of God, which is Pentecostal power, first Pentecost, and the power of the world to come, or a second Pentecost, and having tasted the power of the world to come, which is a millennial power, which is far beyond anything you've ever seen before. And I think this is what been taken. I think Larry has led you to that place of a Hebrews 6, 5. For many years, a priest spoke this to me, and finally he told me who he was. He's in Hebrews 5, 6. Melchizedek generation. So I believe that Zion is coming forth tonight. Coming forth in your place. And many of us have waited for a second Pentecost for a long time. We knew we didn't get it all the first time. We, we knew we sort of got cheated. I believe now is coming to second Pentecost. To where you can talk plainly to everybody in their own language. Marketplace, music. Arts, uh, movies, the seven hills, Zion can take them. Yes. For Zion is the top of all of it. And Zion simply means those who have matured into a place of fullness, in a fullness of time, to where they can be trusted to do the things that the Father wants done. So, let Zion now come forth. 
Zion means this. Those that's been burned out, parched. So I don't think you'd be here if you were a, a novice. I think you've been brought here by the Holy Spirit because you aren't novices. You've been brought here for the next step. Because nature itself is declaring this time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Now, by the way, this white buck was running with does. I believe that this white buck is going to begin to direct uh, the churches. Those does that were running with that buck are going to have babies this year. I think it's the time you're going to see Zion is going to begin to bring forth in harvest in different fields. So, just wanted to share that with you. Man. Wow, let's release someone. Yes, thank you. Thank you.